Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are on level eight, the challenges level of lesson 12, the draw loop. So we have one, two, three, four, five activities. Um, and so I'm going to do the ones that there's a clear answer for. But for some of these, it's like create your favorite animal. Uh, that's going to be you because I don't want you to all pick the panda. That's my animal, right? You got to pick your own. Um, same thing with favorite food and then extend your scene. Um, so we're going, I'm going to let you do C, D, and E on your own, but I will do A and B with you. So let's get this going on. Uh, activity A. All right. Create an animated scene. All right. So this is where the fun's going to happen because as you can see, we have to put everything together. Um, we do have our animals set up. All right. Um, so that's good to go. If we run it right now. All right. There's nothing going on. So we got to really start from the beginning. All right. Okay, so um, first steps first, we've got to get our sprites for the background. So let's see. All right, background right here, cow, elephant, pig. All right, so we got to come in here, set up our sprite for the background. Uh, let's call this couch. All right, and then set animation. So for the couch. Um, background, run. Oh, why isn't it running? Because we've got to draw our sprites. Um, so we're gonna put this here at the bottom. All right, so that's a good start. Okay, all right. Uh, create your sprites for the cow, elephant, etc. So we gotta do the same thing. Uh, okay, one, two, and three. So we have cow. Elephant, pig. Okay, same thing. We gotta set our animations. So cow is going to be cow. All right. Elephant is going to be elephant, and pig is going to be pig. There we go. Reset. Run. Aha! All right. Uh, so we're definitely going to have some uh, scaling to do, some repositioning to do. That is all okay. Um, set the animations for each sprite. Oops. Okay. So, uh, uh, and uh, there we go. All right. Um, and then resize your animals. All right. So scale. Uh, let's start with the cow. And we're just going to start everything at 0.5. Um, and then I will adjust each one as I need to. Elephant. Make sure you put your zero point whatever, um, because otherwise it's going to tell you an error. All right, pig, 0 0.5. All right, reset, run. Cool. Okay, so now we got to put them in the right spot. So the elephant is on the left. We're going to put that at 100. The cow is on the right. So we're going to put that at 300. Let's see what happens. Perfection. All right. And so now we can see um, we probably need to scale things down a teensy bit more. So let's make this four. Uh, the elephant. Mm, that one actually looks pretty close. We're going to leave that for now. And then the pig definitely has to be scaled down. So let's scale that down to, say, three. All right, reset, run. All right, okay, so we need to move the elephant over a tiny bit. And then we need to move the pig over a tiny bit. All right, reset, run. There we go. All right, I like that. Okay, so we've got all that done. Update the appropriate sprite properties in the draw loop to make the animals appear like they're jumping on the couch, like the image. All right, so this is where we're going to use our function draw. Uh, the draw sprites is going to go in there because that's where it goes. And we're going to have... We're going to do a variable. So we're going to need a variable for each one. All right, so we have our cow. We have our elephant. And we have our pig. And then... 
The question is, we want to make a move up and down, which is the X or the Y. I think it's the Y. It is. All right. So we want to make them go up and down on the Y axis. So not only did I misspell gal, huh, but I think we need to use this one right here, which is going to be cal. All right. Um, so I'm going to play with that one first. Uh, well, I know that it needs to go up and down on the y-axis. So elephant and pig. All right. Um, and then math. We're going to go up and down, so we're going to be using a random number between X and Y. All right. So when, when we were doing the shaking thing, let's try that. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Line 28. Pig Y, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I know what I did. All right, I made a mistake. Ha 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 ha. All right. Um. Hmm. Did we find an an actual issue here? Because I know what's happening. The variable. Hmm. We'll take these off. All right, let's just try. Ah, uh, ha, ha, okay, yeah. So what, okay, so let me go back and explain what happened. So when you have this specific one right here, when it says variable in front, that is setting up a new variable. We don't actually want to do that because the variables have all been set up. That's up here. So... I used the wrong one, and that is completely okay. It's all part of the process of learning. So let's try this again with cow. Um, before I get to the other ones, I'm just going to make sure the cow works. All right, so let's try negative 5 and 5. I don't know what's going to happen. Run. Oh. Huh. All right, so let's bring it down. Um, I set it to... 300 and 200. Okay, so 200. So let's say 200 and 210. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's get a little more bounce in there. Oh, wait, no, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, 150, 200. Yeah. Yeah, that's close enough to count. It works for sure. All right. Um, drawing film and the sprites. There we go. So the next sprite is going to be the elephant. We have random number. And then this one was set to 200. So we need to do 150, 200 again. Let's see how that works. There we go. All right. Yeah, that'll work. And then one more. We have the pig. And so again, random number. Uh, so this one was set to 200. So yeah, so 200 again. All right. Um, so we're just going to do the same thing again. 200. All right. Reset, run. Um, I feel like the pig needs to come down a little bit. So let's do this one at 225. And then we'll say 225 here. And then we'll say 175 here. Reset and run. Yeah, that works. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of want them to, to actually hit the couch. So 
for the cow. We're going to try 220. For the elephant, maybe 215. And then for the pig, I think it needs to come down just a little more. Let's try 240. No, oh, I'm guessing here. Um, reset, run. But we got to change these down here too. So uh, between 150 and what did I say? 220? Yeah, 220. And then this one's going to be 215. So 215. And then the pig is going to be 240. All right, so let's make this 200 to 240. All right, reset and run. There we go. Now they actually look like they're jumping on the couch. That's what I wanted. All right, so excellent, excellent, excellent. High five. Let's finish this. Move on to the next activity. So with B, animate the rainbow snake. All right. Uh, animate the rainbow snake. This level brings back the rainbow snake from an earlier lesson so that you can animate it with the draw loop. Do this. Update the rainbow snake scene using the draw loop so that the snake is animated similar to the image on the right. All right. Create your sprite for the snake head and set its location to be at the front of the body. Set the animation for the snake head. Resize the snake head. Add a draw loop and move the necessary code into it so that the snake is animated. Update the appropriate sprite property for the snake head so that it is also animated with the rest of the body. So, all right, okay, okay, all right, all right, um, so let's start with, there we go, all right, um, and then this one's going to be a uh, snake head, Whoop. snake, snake head, all right, and then set the animation, so snake head um is going to be the head okay and so you you notice that i'm giving it very specific uh names you want that because the names are going to help you understand what you're playing with and when you've only got one it's 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 one thing but when you've got say 20 or 30 different sprites running around it's going to be much easier for you if you actually have everything named well all right all right so yeah, head, code, run. Oh, okay, I know. Okay, okay, I know what's going on. So the reason we can't see it yet is because the background is on top of it. All right, so before I try to resize it, let's add our draw loop. And then pretty sure all of this is going to go into... Uh, can I put it in here? Uh, I can do it this way. <laughs> okay, show blocks. Ooh, okay, reset, run. Hey, look at those. That's awesome. All right, but now we need the snake head. Why can I still not see the snake head? Hmm. Oh, I know why. So, reset, run. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we definitely got to make it smaller. Let's make that snake head uh, 0.3. Except I did the thing I told you guys not to do. There we go, 0.3. Reset, run. Okay. So we got to move this over, let's say 75, almost. So it looks like that's a 50. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, so Y is going to be here. We're going to say snake head, Y random number. Um, 50, so let's say between, oh, well, we can see right there, everything else is the same, so let's do the same for that. So reset, run. All right. 
That's exactly what we needed. Perfect. Well, that was easy. All right. Yeah, we're good to go. Move that right there. Okay. Move that right there. All right. Okay. So I'm going to press finish. Excellent job. All right. So that one was done. Uh, let's look at the, I'm going to, we'll look at these and then I'll let you play around with these. So for this one, your favorite animal, uh, you're going to use what you've learned so far to create a scene with your favorite animal doing your favorite activity. Don't have a favorite animal yet? Look through the library of animations and see if one catches your eye or draw your own. For example, you might like clownfish and you enjoy cooking, so you create an animated scene of the fish cooking a dinner with animated salt and pepper shakers. Or you might like unicorns and you like gymnastics, so you create an animated scene with the unicorn jumping around. So do this. Add or draw your sprites in the animation tab. Click. So this right here. Okay. Uh, create your sprites and set it to animation. Add a draw loop and add the code needed to animate your favorite animal. When you're finished, you can click share to send your creation to a friend or remix to send it to your projects gallery. All right. So I might do a panda uh, reading, right? Or uh, something like that. I don't know. A panda knitting. Uh, so because a panda is my favorite animal. All right. So once you're done with that, you're going to press save. Go on to D. So D is your favorite food. Puns. Okay. So what do you call blueberries playing the guitar? A jam session. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. All right. So use what you've learned so far to create a scene with your favorite food, animated, and telling a punny joke. For example, you might like blueberries. So you create a scene with animated moving blueberries playing a guitar with text that says, what do you call blueberries playing the guitar? A jam session. Ah, ha, ha, ha. So do this. Add or draw your sprites in the animation tab. Again, that's up here. Da, 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 da. Uh, create your sprites and set their animations and then add a draw loop and the needed code to animate your pun. When you're finished, you can click share to send your creation to a friend or remix to send it to your projects gallery. So in here, that's where you're going to do this. You're going to have a lot of fun with that. And then your last thing is going to be to extend your scene. So, uh, this is the sprite scene you made in the last lesson. Huh? Uh, you will need to do a little updating to your program in order to use the draw loop to update your sprites, sprite X, sprite Y, or sprite rotation properties so that they move. You may also need to update them with random number of sprite properties. So this is something that comes back from lesson 11. Um, and so it'll, it'll uh, come into here automatically and then you can play around with it and make it dance and move and all that other stuff. Um, so there you go. There's your different challenges. A and B for sure are things that you should do because it will give you lots of good practice. Uh, I'd love to see you do the rest of them, especially C and D. Um, and then this one, I'm 50-50 on. If you do it, you do it. If you don't, you don't. Um, but anyway, when you're done with all those, you're going to click finish. And then I will see you on the next lesson. Good luck.